Hello everybody, it's Aaron again, Big Country here coming at you from the Kenworth Cafe and tonight we got a new one. Uh, I haven't done this one yet, I don't believe in a video, but what we're going to make tonight is meatloaf on the truck. Yes, meatloaf, that mighty, mighty meatloaf. So tasty, so great, so delicious. Who don't love a good meatloaf? Very easy to make. Uh, tonight we're going to be using a toaster oven to bake it in. Uh, you can use the Ninja 3-in-1 as well. Uh, it, it, I've done that as well. Uh, it works too, but tonight we'll be using the toaster oven. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to run a list of uh, things that you will need uh, for this. Uh, I think it'll be over here somewhere. I'll have some pictures of what we're using as I talk to you about it. Uh, but we'll go through it right now as well on the video <clears throat> uh, in case that don't happen. <laughs> uh, and tonight need a foil lined baking pan such as this one here. This is a 9 by 13. Fits perfectly in my toaster oven where I got the foil on it. <clears throat> I will be using one pound of ground chuck. This is an 80-20 ground chuck. Uh, one pound. Walmart runs about $3 for the 80-20. You can get the 70-30, uh, a little cheaper, but I like 80-20 on the truck. I'm going to use the McCormick Meatloaf seasoning pack. Uh, it's got everything in it. I've done other meatloafs in the past without this. It's all your preference. Tonight we are going to be using McCormick's uh, meatloaf season pack and as you can hear Craven back in the background talking as well. Sorry about him but that's life on the truck with a cat. Uh, also you will be needing uh, if you do use the recipe on the pack it's two eggs and two pounds of meat being myself, I do one pound of ground beef. Uh, I use the egg beaters, or in this case, the Walmart knockoff egg makers. Uh, works real well. Uh, for every quarter cup, it equals one egg. We will be needing a quarter cup of the egg beater egg maker mix. <clears throat> also, seasoned breadcrumbs I have here. This is roasted garlic, a little extra flavor in the meatloaf. Don't have to get that, you can get plain breadcrumbs, works well. Uh, I like the roasted garlic for the little extra kick seasonings in there free. Why not? On uh, that there, we will be using, uh, I believe, yeah, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs for the uh, meatloaf. Also, <clears throat> we'll be using some ketchup to top it off. And with mine, I like it a little sweeter. I use pure cane uh, brown sugar, the dark brown sugar. Mix it in there. Makes a nice little kick on top good flavor. Uh, other things uh, to help prepare this, uh, of course, quarter cup, measuring cup for the eggs, plate and bowl for mixing on, mixing sauce for the top. I like using a plate for mixing the meatloaf on, makes it easier. And a little trip, uh, yeah, trip, eh, won't be editing that out. This is video, man. It's how I roll. I use latex gloves to keep the hands clean when handling my meat. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hear comments on that one. Handle your meat, you got to put the glove on. <laughs> no, it actually makes the cleanup a lot easier out here uh, versus using baby wipes and that. A pair of latex gloves and a pack, you can pick them up for like $5 for a pack of like 30 at local grocery stores, Walmart, whatever. Makes cleanup a lot easier. But anyhow, we're going to get started tonight on this, unlike my normal videos. I'll be speeding through everything and putting little titles on there for you to kind of follow along how it's all made. But uh, I hope you all enjoy. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. And also comment down below uh, what you'd like to see me try to make here on the truck. I need some ideas and suggestions what you'd like to see more of. Uh, also, if you like the video, hit the like button. You don't have to if you don't. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out if you like these videos or not, if I can, should continue doing them or not. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to get started on this tonight. This again is meatloaf on the truck here at the Kenworth Cafe. And you all be safe out there. Like always, Ooh, that was bright. <laughs> truck pulling in. <laughs> As always, like I like to tell the people though, be safe out there. Keep it between the mustard and the mayo and stay out of that relish. And here we go.